You know, if you've ever thought about doing videos, audio is super important, but could it be that AI is going to take care of audio processing for us? Yeah. Audio processing, the future of audio processing may have changed a little bit. So what I'm doing right now is I'm using the Sony ZV-E1 with its built-in microphone, which is the thing that we're not supposed to do. You should always use an external audio source if you can. External microphone, little mini shotgun microphone up on top of your camera. But to use the built-in microphone is not, I mean, you know, if you need to, you don't have a microphone, that's what you've got to use. But it's something that you don't want to use if you want to get better audio. So what I'm doing right now is just to let you hear the difference between the inbuilt microphones on the Sony ZV-E1 and now we're going to switch over to the Adobe Podcast Speech Enhance to see how does it deal with the echo of this kitchen with 10-foot ceilings, walls, very sharp walls all over the place, and did it help with the audio? That's the thing, and how much did it improve it? And while we're doing that, let's also do it with a cell phone, and then we'll do it with an action camera that doesn't have the greatest audio, and we'll do the action camera outside to see if the speech enhance from Adobe, since it's free, if it can actually help. Okay, I'm gonna try something with Adobe Podcasts, and what it's able to do is, I'm in a room that is pretty large, should be very echoey, but what I want to see is, I'm by the way, I'm using the selfie camera on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. But I want to see, will the podcast Adobe actually clean up the audio? So what you're hearing right now is straight out of camera. And then I'm going to replay this clip and kind of do it side by side so that we could see how much did it clean up the audio? Did it clean up the audio? Forget about the image quality that you're seeing out of this camera lens right now, because it's a selfie camera, but just to see audio wise in a very echoey room, how did it improve it? Ooh, okay, so it's really overcast right now, and I'm using the Acaso Brave 8. Gotta be real careful, because we've got freezing rain here in Texas. And it's 24 degrees outside right now and very, very overcast, as you can tell. But I want to see with the Adobe uh, podcast, Speech Enhance, if it can help the audio on this Sicasso Brave 8. So what you've been listening to so far is the built-in audio. Now we're going to do the Enhance Speech to see how it sounds. And does it really clear it up? Because it's really amazing how... AI can actually help improve and will this be the future of audio to have artificial intelligence clean up our audio for us to where we don't have to do so much work? Hmm, see if there's a difference. So as you can tell from those little audio clips, yes, the Adobe podcast, the enhanced speech is very, very powerful. Now, is it perfect? No. That's why it's still in the beta phase and it is free. But keeping in mind the fact that you can take audio that is very, very tinny, like that Acaso Brave 8, or you can take your cell phone in not ideal conditions, or even your camera, like what I'm using right now, and I'm using the inbuilt microphones of the Sony ZV-E10, just to give you a little rough idea, and yes, it is being processed with the uh, enhanced speech right now, but... It really, really does work very well. I think that Adobe is going to continue to improve this. Is this something viable for new content creators? Yes. Is this something viable for content creators that have been around for a while and that haven't really got their audio game completely down? Yes, I think it's a great start. Now, ultimately, you want to be able to learn audio and how to compress the audio correctly and EQ it and how to set your audio levels. But... Given the fact that this gives you a good little baseline. Now, some of the things that I found in it for me, I think it boosts up a lot of the lower frequencies a little bit too much, in my opinion. A little bit too much. And I don't know if it's just taking my voice and it's accentuating those lower frequencies, but it boosts it up just a little bit too much, in my opinion, while taking away a lot of the upper frequency and middle frequency range of my voice or a lot of people's voices, 
but it did really well with the Acaso Brave 8 outside in the wind because you heard there was a little bit of wind noise being picked up by the camera. And once I went to enhanced speech, that wind noise went away. It almost sounds like you've got a little lapel microphone buried on you somewhere. So it's a nice little thing. And what I'll do is uh, here's a screenshot of where you can find this enhanced speech thing from Adobe. Like I said, it's free. And I'll also put a link in the description down below so that you guys can go to it, check it out, play with it. If you'd like a little tutorial of actually how to separate the audio off of your video, let me know in the comment section and I'll do a little tutorial on how to separate audio from your video and what program that I use to do that. And then you can upload it up to uh, Adobe's uh, podcast website so that you can be able to manipulate the audio and get that enhanced speech. But anyway, cool little product from Adobe. Uh, by the way, they do have a little mic test feature and it's a video that I just saw from Alan at Sound Speeds, and I'll put a link up to his video here where he checks out microphone testing with the uh, Adobe Podcast because it does have that feature as well. And he got some very interesting results with that. So I definitely recommend checking that out. Like I said, it's a beta program. So Adobe is still working on this and improving it as it goes along. I'm really curious to see how this all ends up because... You know, AI seems to be the thing right now with chat GPT. You've got AI Photoshop. You've got AI just about in everything nowadays. So anyway, cool little product. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, hey, consider subscribing. I do a lot of product reviews. This is a little bit different, but it's something I thought that might be valuable to everybody out there that's considering improving their audio, but they don't know where to start. Here's a simple little way. This could be the future of audio processing. Anyway, catch you in the next video. Have yourself a good one and bye.